and ask us to write the standard form of the quadratic whose graph is a parabola with this vertex and passes through this point. Um, so on this one, it does say standard, but again, I believe, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but standard, what the book refers to as standard is actually vertex form. Did you check the answer in the back? Let's see. Okay, they have it in vertex, okay. So, the easy part of this question, well, you do have to know what vertex form is supposed to look like. Don't forget to square, by the way. That's a very common mistake. If you don't square it, it's not a quadratic. But plug in 5 for h and 12 for k. And remember, it looks like this, this one is, looks opposite of what it's supposed to be. Minus 5 gives us positive 5, and this one does not supposed to look opposite. So make sure that you have that distinction. So the real, I guess, mystery to this question that doesn't make it just where you could almost go straight to the answer if you have this memorized is trying to find this A value. So what we can do, though, is we can use this point and temporarily plug in 15 for Y and temporarily plug in 7 for X. And what that's going to do is give us an equation that all we're missing is A. So if we finish solving this for A, we can go and plug that in back up here and we will have our answer. So we could subtract 12 from both sides. Uh, I could subtract these and square them. That would be 4. And then divide both sides by 4. It looks like A was supposed to be 3 fourths. So in the end, 3 fourths x minus 5 squared plus 12 is what I'm guessing they're looking for. So sometimes you have to do that to solve for A. You have to plug in the vertex for H and K. You have to temporarily plug in the point for X and Y. And then that gives you an equation that only has A in it so you can solve for that and then plug it back in. Okay, anybody else who's gonna ask about this one have anything about it before I take it away?